a lot of empty containers. I tell you, when you scrap, you end up acquiring a lot of empty containers. Let's get this sucker turned on. My goal is to try to get some organization here so that my wife can get her car into the garage. This black container here is what I usually keep in my truck for small stuff. But after work today, here it is Tuesday of Rubbish Week. I still found a vacuum cord. And I found another one of these made in China. So that's uh, that's four of those I have to do. Here's the charger for it. Not that I need that, because it's not like I'm gonna try to ride the darn thing and kill myself. Okay, there's another cord right there. A plug. I like having this in here so when I get little little pieces like this even, I can just throw it in there and it kind of keeps them all in one place. Uh, it doesn't go all over. So I did a scrap run two days in a row. $60 the first day, uh, 71 today. And now it's a matter of taking stuff apart and getting the good stuff out of it. So it won't be going tomorrow, but I will be working on this. I think part of what I gotta do gotta tell you man I appreciate you guys and the nice comments and support <laughs> I got a couple guys on my other channel that are so rude here I'm trying to help people do a nice thing mow their lawn because they're sick had death in the family or something and they're sitting there complaining about stupid stuff. I don't get why people are like that. And my, my problem is I can't let it go and I want to fight them. It's easy to say let it go until you got someone talking trash to you and then I you know, put them in a headlock but that's all right okay so now get this stuff back out of the way I think I'm gonna start working on some of those aluminum for sure this is like what they use for doing tar right I assume I'm sure that's steel yeah 
And that. Well, that's cast. That's cast right there. on this end wood wow how about that for a guess right at the end <laughs> There we go. I know I didn't need to do that, but it's so aluminum. Don't be bucking like that. Frickin' people get hurt, man. I need a cast bucket. I'm trying to keep separate buckets. I mean, I have buckets for cast, but what I'm trying to do is keep track of everything I found during this um, scrap run. That's that's pretty much that. Same with the brass. I gotta check the brass. Cause if I found stuff, no, nothing in here that I found during rubbish week. So I do have some stuff over here. Get the wires off of this. It does go all the way in, but I don't care. Ah. Good. Those are steel, and I should have taken those with me today. Oh. I gotta figure out what to do with these because this is dirty aluminum, but they don't pay you squat. So what I could do is take all this stuff off of here. I mean, I hardly give you anything for dirty aluminum. Now, my yard does not consider this stuff extrusion. Just pipes. I mean, I've been to factories where these are made over in China. <laughs> They're definitely extruded. Why 
want this to be extrusion. what it did before plastic doesn't break but the aluminum bends that stuff just smells so bad melt plastic okay is cast Ah, <clears throat> oh, that's brass right there. of course by the way I'm not sure I showed this in previous episodes but this thing that I got out of the sink is a solid piece of brass look at this right here that is unbelievable it's heavy one point one pounds just this And then this was around it, and that was on it. So on that sink, well, 1.6 pounds of brass. How cool is that? Not to mention all this stuff, which I got to get to. These will break. <laughs> sure enough. And the brass went back there. I'm not going down there right now. Phone call. Potential spam. No thanks. I like spam, just not in calls. Fried spam. Now these are extrusions. Ain't no doubt about that. These people that call say, hey, um, it's a voicemail. They're like, we understand that you owe back taxes and we can help you with it. Like, okay, well, you're a liar because I don't owe back taxes. No, sir. Uh, let's see. Let's go 
going on down here? I just assume these are steel because of their weight. <laughs> nope. What the heck? Nope. Stainless, baby. I do have a stainless bucket over here. It's not for this. Well, I probably should start one because I have some other stainless. throwing this away this is stainless all right this clock is totally broken see it's a clock on one side and the temperature on the other I want to see what's rattling around in here. Kind of feels like I don't know if this is uh, cast aluminum out here. No, it's steel. So, the only thing that came off is uh, that housing for that. Then what is this for? Okay. So, there's the screw for that. Don't want to lose it. Where to put all my crap? Right here. So this is the battery that was in it. Needs a new battery, I'm sure. And then you see it moving. This little thing right here is the barometric pressure. That's loose. But otherwise, the thing works. I'm gonna go get a battery. Looks like the humidity gauge doesn't work either. That's another thing I'm not too worried about. I got 56% humidity right there, so it says. I thought I had a clock in here, don't I? Jeez. Hmm, 450. Okay, it's working. Someone heard some rattling around in there and just chucked it. I'm glad I didn't just trash this thing. Okay, 
So, that thing is working. Let's see. Uh, it says it's 69% or 69 degrees in here right now. Which is pretty much what this is saying. I think it's saying 66. But anyway, this goes up in here. And then you run a screw and a nut and a bolt through there. And this sits right like that. I would want to see the clock side of it, but... Okay. Well, I'm glad I did that, because... There's a lot more wire in here I would have missed. Almost didn't. That's another thing taken care of. Okay. Deal. Hmm. I'm on my way to the zoo. You're going to the zoo? Mm -hmm. What are you doing there? You're going to the zoo for drinks, right? Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Wine tasting and beer tasting? And cheese. It's crazy that they do that at the zoo. Well, don't let any monkeys throw their poop at you. He did when that happens. That's when you know you got a drinking problem. A drink problem where you're like, yeah, I'm going to the zoo for wine tasting. <laughs> going there with her sister. <laughs> I mean, just crack open a bottle at home and get it over with. <laughs> Too funny. Got a real drinking problem, lady. My fellow Americans.